Hello, this is Daryl with the Conductive Labs with our second video on the MRCC 880 MIDI router and USB MIDI interface. In the first video, we did an overview of the functionality and hardware of the device. This video will just uh, do a quick demonstration of how to uh, route and use the configuration buttons. So <clears throat> to begin with, uh, let's pick an input. So we'll pick input one. And then we'll pick an output, output one. Now we've routed input one to output one. It's that easy. You don't need a computer to configure the MRCC A80. And we made it this way because we didn't want to go to the computer and have to use a piece of software just to make quick changes to the routing. Sometimes if you're jamming, you just want to switch from a keyboard to a sequencer or maybe merge the two to your, to your um, multi-timbral synthesizer. Uh, the buttons just make it really convenient. All right, so that's really basic routing. You can route anything to anything, so you know you can route to all the outputs at once if you want to, paying attention to the channels you're using on per port, 16 channels per port. If you route, let's say I've got one routed to one, and I've got two routed to one, the MRCC A80 will merge your MIDI data. MIDI merging is automatic. Okay, now let's, um, let's unroute that. And let's say we want to route uh, a MIDI track from our DAW to one of the five pin DIN outputs. You pick the input port for the device, uh, <clears throat> USB device port. You hold it and then you pick which of the four virtual USB MIDI ports you want to use. There's four because in some cases on Windows, you're not going to be able to share ports between application uh, between applications. You have to have a dedicated port per application. So we're going to pick a port. We'll pick one. So one's lit bright. Now we pick an output. Now in our application on our computer, uh, for instance, in our DAW, we'll pick uh, the MRCC A80 uh, virtual port one to output to this input, and this input will go to this output, or multiple outputs, same as same as with going from DIN to DIN. And that's all you gotta do. Okay, now but how about the other way? So let's undo that, and we'll pick a, an input. So let's say we got our um, sequencer uh, connected to input one, and we wanna send our sequencer data to be recorded on the DAW on a MIDI track. So you pick your input, and then you pick the output button for the uh, USB device interface. Pick a output port, virtual output, pick one. Now, everything going in on this port will be sent to the virtual port one to the computer. And in your DAW for that MIDI track, you'll pick the uh, MRCC um, output for that uh, track. That's it. Super easy. Okay. Uh, what next? How about uh, we show you the functionality over here on the right. To save and load presets, let's say you want to uh, save the, the configuration you just made. You can hold the save and load button and then press one of the four input buttons. Now that uh, configuration is saved. When you turn the MRCC off like this and then back on again, it'll automatically uh, restore that save setting. If you want to load a different one, you can press this and then pick one of the four uh, save slots on the uh, blue LEDs. Okay. Uh, next is the panic button. Uh, you just push it if you have a stuck note on one of your synths, and it will send a uh, an all notes off message to uh, the ports that are routed. Uh, the channel split, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that in much detail, but to use it, you you pick it, and then it you'll see the lights blinking for the appropriate input ports that you can apply it to. The same works for the clock filter. 
the start stop and the start stop continue filter. So, so for instance, if I wanted to um, block start stop continue messages on input one, I would hold that button and then press one. And now when I press uh, play on my sequencer, uh, the start message that would uh, sometimes be sent will not make it to the outputs that this input is routed to. Very handy. And then finally, uh, we have the MIDI monitor. When you press that, it will uh, blink LEDs to show where there's MIDI data. And right now there's a clock coming in, so it blinks the clock slowly. If there's other MIDI data, it would blink more randomly. All right, that's a quick overview of the MIDI routing with the MRCC A80. Uh, now that you know how convenient it is, we hope you'll give it a try. And of course, if you, if you need any help at all with our products, uh, you can uh, go to our website at conductivelabs.com and there's a contact form there uh, where you can send us a message and we'd be happy to help you with any issues you have with it or any additional questions you have before you buy it. And whatever you need, let us know. Thank you very much.